Hey guys, uh, we are at the end of this week. It's Friday, it's time to have some fun and forget a little bit and take a break from the markets. But first I want to present you with my weekly recap and to tell you uh, how our, our plans developed this week and what happened with them. Now, if you go to our trading view profile, you can see all of our plans posted and you can click on them and see how they developed. Now, first of all, I want to check the plan that I posted yesterday, which was a short term day trading plan on the Great British Pound Japanese Yen currency pair. As you can see, we had a decision point here, a zone of decision, which I expected either for the price to bounce off and go back up till 150.55 or to break and go down to 148, 90, even 85. Let's see what happened on this plan, shall we? As you can see, we had a small consolidation before a nice uh, bearish candle broke through this zone of decision and as we can see the price never traced above it it actually went back to it bounced again down and reached our target now i hope you managed to get some profits out of this trade now let's see the weekly uh weekly video with the weekly trading plan, which was uh, based on the Euro Japanese Yen currency pair. As you can see here, the idea was that the, pa the pair is currently standing at the weekly support area and it actually already has started to bounce out of it. Uh, we defined a buy zone for a long term trading and two H4 stoppage areas which are our targets. Now let's see what happened on this plan. As you can see the price rallied a little bit up and now entered into a consolidation uh, stage or we can say that this is a range trend on the H4. I just want to check out our trade which I posted on Twitter and how things are going. As you can see, this was our entry right here after the small correction the price made. Now this uh, rectangle is the previous stop the price made which I don't expect to be broken and our stop loss was placed below that area. As you can see the price entered into that area actually a few times now but it failed to break it so uh, in this case we are a little bit on minus on this trade like around uh, 20 pips but I don't expect for the price to break this area and go down I expect it to go up from here so I will leave my position open either though the weekend is coming uh, because I don't fear a huge gap on your Japanese yen but if you want to take the safer approach you can close 50% of your position here and leave the rest 50 to float. That's it for me for this week uh, I hope I see, I'll see you next week again and uh, I'll do the best I can to make you some profits guys. Thank you very much and have a nice weekend.